This is a swing trade setup that helped me make 400% overnight in the stock market. So over here, I have ticker symbol CAT pulled up. And one thing I want everyone to notice is the market structure. What are we seeing with the overall trend? We're seeing the stock trade in this very large range and we're seeing higher highs being formed. At the same time, we're seeing lower lows being formed. So these higher highs can be put like this as well. So what's one thing I notice here? I see the higher highs, I see the lower lows, but also I notice this tremendous range it's in. I know that if it gets a nice bounce from these levels, it will most likely target these higher highs that we're making. So based off that, I was looking, I had a long bias for the stock. I would not be playing the lower lows break as you can see, if you tried playing the break there of any of the lower lows, you would have gotten trapped immediately. And the reason why is because it offered such a terrible risk to reward. If you were to play the lower low break, right, which I really didn't like, say you're playing the lower low break, your entry would be here. Say this was your stop loss, right, over here, 167. This was the next support over, right there. So you have about 1 to 0.5 risk to reward, which is terrible. Now, if we flip that around and we look for a long position, let me just get my long position tool out up to the highs with a stop loss at that 167 area you can see this is a 1 to 15 ratio so for every one dollar you're risking you're looking to make 15 dollars so that's an insane risk to reward ratio and obviously would it happen in one day no uh, a move like this could only happen due to news but looking at its previous times i noticed that every time it pulled back to this line it trended up back towards that higher high so this was what I was expecting the stock to do was to bounce from this level. Now, it's not as just easy as creating the line and hopping into a play. My whole thesis behind it is I wanted to see confirmation of a bounce. I wanted to see it hold that trend and continue higher from there. So that's exactly what happened. We had a nice little doji candle right off here. But what I really wanted to see more was I wanted to see it cross the middle of that doji to the upside. So when I play doji candles, I don't play the wick breaks, I will play the body break, right? I wanted to see the stock trend higher than this level here. So it trended over 173.79 and that was my entry. My stop loss would have been the low of this day. Luckily when I got in, I didn't get stopped. It's closed at 172, not too far from my entry. And you guys can see it gapped up the next day to 183 where we were able to take 400%, right? Now that's just not enough. One major key factor in me playing this is I saw this bullish divergence. We saw lower lows being made on the stock, but higher low being created on the RSI, creating a bullish divergence. I'm going to put the screenshot of that up right now. This is a little cheat sheet you guys are able to use to look for these uh, bullish divergences using the RSI. I actually have a Twitter thread up on it as well, but that is really what helped me look for this setup. And that's what helped me with my Etsy setup which went 120%, my Mara setup, which went 620% overnight. And I'm going to show you guys proof of that right now. So here in the um, premium uh, chat, the challenges section where we have a 500 account challenge going, that is currently at 1.5K without full porting, without sizing more than 10% of the account. Every play has been less than 10% of the account. So you guys can see here, 35%, 120% on Etsy, right? I was looking for a swing cat 185 calls we woke up we took profit at 400 percent so if i go here you guys were going to be able to see where i called it uh the 400 percent let me find it right here taking profits at 400 percent so that's in my bot when i set it on voice it immediately the bot uh lets everyone know uh into the options alerts that i am taking percent taking profits at 400 percent all right, what do I do after? Uh, I went into the challenges and then I alerted Mara eight calls, 729 at 0.265 contract starter, risking one sixth of today's profits. So I was being very risk averse. I wasn't going too heavy. So we're gonna go on to Mara and you guys are gonna see, what do I look at? What do I see right now, right? I saw this downtrend breaking, correct? Saw this downtrend starting to break. And at the same time, I saw the RSI starting to break out as well. So I knew the price wanted to continue higher. And that wasn't it. I saw Bitcoin for the first time in a while have bullish divergence on the week or the weekly. Um, and that's only happened three times prior in history. All right. So you guys could have seen that for yourself. But that's why Mara really stuck out like a sore thumb because this stock used to be at $80. And I'm like, okay, if Bitcoin is going to run, Mara is going to have a really, really nice breakout. It's having a nice breakout on the hourly and daily, right? This is where I decided to enter, I think around here. 
uh, on this pullback on the hourly. And that's where I decided to enter. And I had my uh, price target at 7.5. I had one at 6.9 and the next one at 9. And you guys could see how well respected they were. Went here, went almost to $9 here. And that's almost 30% of the stock. It had an insane move. So you guys look at that risk to reward ratio. From our entry, the stock had went 40%, all right? And then one thing I want you guys to also see is over here, Mara up 611%. Uh, one thing here is I also swung um, save puts, which were 30%, then Merc puts, which are up 15% currently. So those are my positions going into the weekend, but they also have similar setups. So the main strategy I used, this used to be my old swing strategy back last summer when I was always trading these type of things. I always looked for RSI divergences that were happening in areas of confluence. And now what do I mean by that? I mean, if there's a demand zone, right? Say hypothetically, there's a demand zone, right? And the stock is doing its thing. Say it's creating lower lows going into it, right? And the RSI is creating higher highs. And then we create the RSI divergence. And then we get a bullish divergence. This is an area of confluence for me. The stock is continuing down, but the RSI is going up and it's creating higher highs and, or higher lows. And the stock is creating lower lows. That's telling me that the stock has bullish divergence. It's at demand. The stock most likely will have a nice move to the upside soon. That is my assumption. And that's the exact play I had here. And I was able to catch a nice move here. Now, do I still think it will go and retest this top? Maybe. Who knows? I got out for 400%. I don't need to re-enter. I can re-enter if I want to. But as for me right now, I caught the move I wanted. It hit my price target overnight. That's it. People made money. Now, I just want to go over here and show you guys that people actually made money. You guys can just look at here. Cat, 250. First trade, 80%. He caught 25% on his entire account. 40%, 300 35%, 14%, 113%, $219, 50%, 101%. You guys can just see all the gains. This is all from yesterday. 25% on <laughs> Shinobi's blessing accounts. $631. And you guys can see everyone. This guy made 150% on his account. So, yeah, that's the swing trade I took. That's the setup I like to use for swing trades. I don't really like any other setups on the swing trades because this gives me two points of interest. It gives me an area, uh, a bounce area, and then it also gives me a divergence on the RSI, which just creates confluence and lets me, uh, allows me to have confidence in the trade and actually take it. So I'll be posting more of my swings and because um, I've been taking a lot of swings in this market. I'll start to post a lot of them. Um, and do little recaps of them so I can show you guys. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to host another video where I'm going over um, how to draw these RSI divergences, how to learn them, and how you can basically implement them into your swing strategy, drop a comment down below and leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.